uh, uh, radical left, welcome. I see you have some unfinished business with me. What's going on? Tell me what's up. Ah, yes. Uh, remember that debate charity stream you went on with President Sunday? I do. The stipulation is still up. What is this one? Hold that on. was advocate time. Wait a play, second. Hold play on. the video. They sent you the link. Wait, wait, hold on. All right, hold on. Let me put the video up real quick. Who claimed to be the first demon type streamer? Am I correct in that assumption? All right. You are correct. And also, I am correct. <laughs> well, I would like for you to live up to that little moniker of yours. I want you to debate in the position of the conservative. Ah, I have to debate in the position of the conservative. Okay, but what topic? That, um... I'm gonna let you that. Um, I'm gonna let you decide on that one. No, you That's can't let me decide on that. Okay, all right, fine. <laughs> all right, fine. I got this. I will debate in favor of monarchy. You ready? Oh, that's a good topic. That's right, like that. monarchist mama. <laughs> Damn, you're already like half right, you on ready? your Discord server. Actually, no, you're like 100% a monarchist in your Discord server. Yeah, you're no, I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm an imperial on my Discord server. My Discord server is, there is a, it is an autocracy. There is one. But yes, I can tell you exactly, I can tell you, <laughs> two says I knew it. All right, it's easy, okay? All right, so let me explain to you uh, from the position of a monarchist conservative why the monarchy is the best option. And the first argument that I'm going to make is that it is time tested. Monarchies uh, have proven themselves to be a stable uh, uh, type of government to sustain a healthy society for significantly longer than capitalism. Uh, they resulted in significantly less uh, deaths than democratic capitalist systems. If you take a look, uh, uh, the the no matter how many how much infighting and how many different struggles you can complain about with regard to uh, with regard to um, uh, you know uh, medieval conflict conflict between kings and lords and whatever, you want to see a real disaster. You wait until uh, nation states, uh, democratic or pseudo democratic nation states uh, get into a war. Then you end up with uh, nuclear bombs. You end up with World War II. You end up with World War I. You end up with Vietnam. Uh, monarchies are significantly better at sorting out their problems than the, the pathetic, uh, embarrassing squabbles uh, and mass death of the democratic system. Um, additionally, they're more honest. Oh. I pressed a button. A, a, a monarchy is a significantly more honest system uh, than a democracy. In a democracy, you're told that you have a say when in truth you don't. You're told that you rule your life when in truth you don't. Uh, your life is ruled by a, a cacophonous a disarray of 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 re representatives and senators and some dude who's the president who's basically a sovereign but not really. Uh, I mean, hell, we could even look just the other day. How's your uh, how's the United States Democratic House of Representatives doing? Not very good, is it? They can't even figure out who's in charge anymore. Well, that's no problem in a monarchy. In a monarchy, uh, uh, you know who the sovereign is. It's the king. It's daddy, baby, or maybe the queen. It's it's mommy, baby. Uh, it's easy. You know, and yeah, sure. Is it a little more brutal? Sure it is. Is it a little bit harsher? Yeah, but it's more honest. You're not being lied to and sold a, uh, a, a falsehood of freedom like you are in a democracy. See? Simple, as simple as that. Any other, any, 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 uh, anything to throw back at me? How can a lie and say that democracy is exactly a perfect system? Yes, th things take much longer sometimes than maybe necessary. I'll give you that much. Just because something is time tested doesn't mean it's exactly a good thing. I mean, oh, there are many oh, things yeah? that have been around for for a very long time, and uh, well, just because they've been around for a long time doesn't mean they're good. Oh yeah, like what? I mean, I mean, executions—they're also time tested. Help! Oh, uh, oh do you think do you think executions are not being done by a democracy? Executions are done by democracies all the time. 
So it seems that the democracy yeah. enjoyers even enjoy a good old execution every once in a while. <laughs> and execution is a fact of political power. If you are a state sovereign, you will execute some people. Kings are just more honest about it. We know we kill people. A democracy has to be like, oh no, ooh, we're just imprisoning for you li for life. Oh no, ooh. See? I'm voting! I'm, I'm voting to, 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 to throw away the death penalty, and it's not. It's not getting thrown away. Also, you want to know what can never happen in a monarchy? Guess what? No matter what, you can never get locked for more than the lifetime time of one guy. That's the great thing about a monarchy. See, in a democracy, you can have a gridlock in the Senate and the House for as long, for forever. You can have a parliamentary gridlock for all of eterni eternity. I mean, how many years has there been essentially no movement on major issues that are even, uh, you know, bipartisan, uh, bipartisan issues and uh, or, or seemingly bipartisan issues or even or even more so issues that are popular with the people who are supposedly what matters in a democracy? No, gridlock forever, but with a king, well, the king dies. Now you got a new king. Now you're definitely going to get some changes. It's just how it goes. But what is the, the king? The new king is even worse than the previous king. And people well, then you get like a new king. Just, <laughs> then you get a new king. <laughs> how do we do that? Do we just kill him? Well, sometimes, yeah. Or if you have a nice claim, you know, you could you could claim you could you could uh, contest their claim to the throne. You could claim that they're a pretender king, or you could defeat them by right of conquest, which is totally acceptable in medieval monarchy and all monarchy because uh, right of conquest is totally valid. If you manage to overthrow the king by pure military might, well, guess what? By right of conquest, you are the new king. So hey. Seems seems pretty straightforward to me. You know, democracies they're all like, "Oh no. Uh no, you can't do that." Even though then even though they then inv invent your country, your in invade your country. They're like, "No, we don't believe in the right of conquest." But then they do it. Then they go and they overthrow your country and they say, "We did it for democracy. We did it for freedom." Hey, what country are you talking about in terms of uh democratic nation being overtaken by well, what I presume to be a somewhat authoritarian state? Uh, what? what? Wait, what, I'm sorry, what? What nation has been overthrown? Or what democratic nation has been overthrown by a monarchist state? Just because, like, oh, we can't... We sh Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if any dem democracy in the current time has been overthrown. Well, well, okay. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if there's been any, like, monarchies that have overthrown democratic states in recent memory. There's probably a few. But, I mean, maybe if we look uh, but also, it, it like, can easy. we just, can we just, can we just, can we just really cut to the brass tacks here? Because the real reason why monarchy is the best is because it's the system that is blessed by God. And I don't really know about, I don't know who you are or what you claim to be, but I don't think you're God. And God seems to think that the monarchy is the true way of, of, of meeting out divine, the divine rule of God into the world. There's, there's heathens everywhere. And without, a, without a, 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 a king chosen by divine right, by the divine intervention of God, how the hell are you ever going to get take care of all these heathens? I mean, do you think that the heathens are doing great? Have you seen the state of the world? Hey, wait, hold on. You can't put that on us. It's not like the, the monarchist uh, states have been doing, have been very much better. COVID I don't isn't know. Exactly, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The, the, I'm just saying the, the world is pretty bad and it could, it sure could use a blessed king ruled by God uh, to, to clean things up. I don't know. Things see, things seemed pretty good for the uh, for the uh, you know for the for the the the, the monarchy uh, when when before all all of the fucking nonsense uh, and and degeneracy uh, flooded in and 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 decided to convince people that Queen Elizabeth wasn't the actual monarch because she was just a symbolic figure. I don't know. Don't you remember when the sun never set on the English Empire when people were proud to be English citizens? I think it's doing very much better in times of crisis. What's that? I, I will say that much. Monarchies have not fared that much better 
in times of crisis. Oh, is that so? Well, guess what? That's yeah. only, but if that's true, that's only because they had a shitty king who didn't obey God. But in a true, in a true crisis, of which there have been many, you, you're telling me that Charlemagne was not, was, was not able to handle a crisis? Come on. Charlemagne was like, oh wait, I said his name wrong. Charlemagne was totally able to handle a crisis. You're telling me like, like, uh, like, well, I guess, I guess, I guess Caesar doesn't exactly count, but a Alexander the Great, Alexander the Great, you're telling me that Alexander the Great couldn't handle a, uh, a, 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 a crisis? A Darius the second? You're telling me the great king of Babylon himself couldn't handle a crisis? That man ruled for longer than any of us have been alive. And his and the, the, the testaments to his glory and greatness are all across the world. He handled many a crisis and his subjects loved him for it. I mean, yeah, I that's well that's why I said ten letter name says the ten letter name says was the Holy Roman Emperor a monarch? Uh no. Uh well actually I think he was. Yes. I uh, if we're talking about Charlemagne uh, or Charlemagne Charlemagne, why do I keep saying his name wrong? Uh Charlemagne, yeah, if we're talking about him, yes, he was a king. Uh, uh Julius Caesar was not. That's why I said I couldn't use uh, Caesar. Yeah. Yep. Very, very uh, bloodthirsty people, I will say. Especially from Caesar's end of things. Oh, sure, but, but but who isn't bloodthirsty? It's only it's only the petty Republicans and the petty Democrats, those people who believe in the false promise of rule by the people. It is only it is only those people who believe that that the world is anything but an uh, but an endless uh, fight for for power. The world who is a constant nation? state, huh? Who, who lives in who lives in nation states? Who lives in nation states? Cucks. That's who yeah. lives in nation states. Godless cucks. Well, you know what? I'm gonna say it right now. I'd rather let these godless cucks actually have a voice in their in the government than some god that we don't even know if he's real. Do or you not. think? Do you think you have a voice? If you have a voice, tell me. Tell me. Are you suffering? Are you suffering right now under this system? Go go tell go tell the president about it then. Oh, you can't. You can't request a hearing. Oh, you can't plead before the president, can you? No. You have to wait till the next election cycle and you have to send a hundred thousand letters to petty pet politicians who can do nothing. If if you lived a monarchy, you would be all you would have to do was go, me lord, me lord, my family be suffering. And then your lord would take care of you, or he wouldn't, and then you could overthrow him. But you live in a democracy, so instead you have to write a bunch of letters and then they go sorry we can't get on that until four years while your house is filling up with the raw sewage from the uh the corporate uh sewage plant that that, that got in, in installed next door because oh wait but uh, you just didn't vote hard enough so maybe you should have voted harder 20 years ago when they installed that sewage plant in your neighborhood and maybe you wouldn't be having this problem or you could be a giga chad monarchist and just petition your lord Petition the Lord, have them either help you, which is very unlikely, because why would the Lord help you? Excuse me, a, a good Lord, a good Lord will always heed the needs of his peasants. Haven't you ever watched Game of Thrones? <laughs> Unironically, no, I have not watched Game well, of Thrones. Well, there's your problem. There's your problem. <laughs> yeah, that may be my problem. I, I hear it's a good show, but I couldn't care to watch it. <laughs> Yes, see? No, but, see, like, look, as Tuz says in chat, your grace, the peasants are revolting. What do? Well, here's what we could do. I, there's two them. things I could do. I could either give them some gold so that they go back home, or I could send my knights out to kick their asses and get them back working into the fields. And if they really have a problem, well, they can complain about it anymore. But guess what? First, they have to be complaining about it. But if they come to the court and they then they have a hearing with the Lord, well, then the Lord goes, ah, yes, I hear your complaints and you are a righteous and godly peasant. And I will, I will have them move the sewage dump uh, over to your neighbor's yard instead. When was the last time a king ever actually did something for a peasant? Uh, I don't know. Whenever they feel like, well, a king? I mean, the king is too busy, but the lords, the local lords are fine. The lords, huh? The lords. Yeah, that, look at this. See, at 85D2D you know? Derek is agreeing with me. Revolutions were so much easier in monarchy. It was basically part of the system and much better than cucked vooting. True. You're going to be vooting until you die. You think that any of the vooting does anything? You think, I'm voting. No, you're not doing anything. You're filling in a paper and they're throwing it in the trash and ignoring you.
But in a based monarchy, at least you could say, damn the Lord, damn my local Lord, he's a, he's a terrible shepherd. And then you could go talk to, you, to some baron uh, in, a, in a land next to yours and maybe they would come overthrow your Lord and they would reward you for betraying your king. See, it's so much more, so much more drama. It's even more fun even, than democracy. You, you said, you're saying like throw the, like overthrow the government, like is this another Wednesday? Like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, well, in monarchy, no, 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 no. in monarchy, no, no. it is just another Wednesday because there's constant <laughs> power jockeying and there's constant court drama. You you want to know what's interesting? There's lots of television shows about how interesting it is to be uh, in a noble family uh, uh, going back and forth and then all the intrigue and the espionage and the daggers in the dark and the poison drinks and all that stuff. But I mean, there's no fucking TV shows about democracy. Actually, there is. There's one. It's called no, fucking House of Cards and it sucked. It sucked. And also the West Wing. <laughs> oh, the West Wing. But that's soy. And everybody knows it's soy. I'm sorry, but God damn it, is it also not empowering? L listening to those people just speak on and on. You're, See? You're See? You even agree with me. with me! You agree with me! I told you! I told you I could take any conservative here, position and I could make thing. you agree with me! That's how sinister it is! Here's the thing about the about democracy versus monarchy. In democracy, there is actually way less bloodshed inside its nations in terms of actually making some change in the government. Are you sure, sure about that? You. Are you, are you, are, you, wait, hold on, long unironically, long. I'm gonna take off the monarchist mask for a second. Are you 100% <laughs> sure about that claim? Cause I, I don't know. I don't know for sure <laughs> if that's, I don't know if that's 100% true. Uh, oh boy. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of bloodshed that goes on every day. I mean like, uh, how many, wait, hold on. Let's find out real quick. Hold on. Hold on a second. Um, the government? But, but to at least have some change in the laws in our country, I mean, it can't be as much as what? Oh, no. How, many, how bad is the... the how, well, maybe, maybe less deaths, but not less violence. Like, how many, how many Americans are in prison? Most of them are in prison for, for breaking, like... Most people are in there for breaking, like, stupid-ass laws. Most people who are in I'm prison the aren't there. I, 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 I am the radical left, and I do not... I'm not exactly the biggest fan of prisons myself, okay? Yeah, I see that, I but but uh, but let me tell you this. Do you reason. think there were more people in prison under a monarchy where you need people to work your yeah, fields? Yeah, not only that, they were also treated so much worse. Oh, sure, yes, yes, nowadays. well, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, medieval medieval jails were terrible, but, but we're not talking about going back to medieval times. We can have modern facilities and modern prison practices in our monarchy. In fact, it's super easy. You've already made a good case to me right now. So it, let's pretend I'm the monarch. I'm the monarch, congratulations. I'm offering you a knighthood for your incredible idea to reform the jails uh, uh, from dungeons up to a modern concrete prison. Congratulations. Do you accept the knighthood or will you accept being thrown into the dungeon of your own design? Ah, uh, choose can. carefully! Choose carefully! Wait, what kind of, what kind of choice is that? Yeah, exactly. What kind of choice is that? But see, that's the difference between democracy and monarchy. In democracy, they'll be like, oh, we're not, we're, we're giving you a choice. You have a, oh, don't worry. You don't got to think about that. We'll just, you know, make you suffer all the time and you have to work your entire life away. But it's, it's, you're being empowered. It's a meritocracy. It's, you're, you're pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. In, in monarchy, they just tell you like it is. Do what you're told or go to jail. Now, it is like that under democracy. In truth, if you don't do what you're told, you go to fucking jail just like you would under a monarchy. But in democracy, they pretend that you chose to do it. You used your freedom. You you didn't vote hard enough, so you're going to jail for weed. Also, how many people, let me ask you something else. How many, how many people do you think the king in, uh, imprisoned for smoking weed? None. Guess why? Because kings didn't know what weed was. So there you go. Exist back then doesn't mean it's a bad thing or a good thing.
that, or that, that hopes to argue him at all. If we had existed back in those days, I'm fairly certain the king would have called blasphemy on all of the people who used it. You would think so, but excuse me, there were many monarchies that loved smoking weed, okay? There were monarchies all over the Middle East, and they loved their weed. That shit wasn't outlawed anywhere. It wasn't until shitty democracy showed up and told everybody they gotta clean up and d stop acting like a peasant. You gotta act like some kind of business person. And uh, uh, even though if you're not, even though you might be a peasant, you know, maybe you just want to sit around and, and drink and fuck your pigs and, you know, smoke your weed. But no, no, you got to go to work because every man's a king in democracy until they throw you in jail, until you realize that you're struggling to pay, pay your bills and you're staring People down the barrel of a gun. In the, in the monarchy. People also worked in monarchies. Yeah, they but they worked as work peasants and, like they and they worked as hardy people of the land. You you didn't you didn't have anything to suffer about because you've never known anything else. <sighs> anyway, uh, uh, that is our that is our we are we are approaching the end of the time, and I probably should stop making such amazing arguments for monarchy because I'm a little bit afraid that people might actually start becoming monarchists. Get the clips. Yeah, well, you're gonna get plenty of clips from this one. I'm sure you're gonna get tons of clips from this one. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, unless you say something in your screen, uh, you did not put, I am playing a conservative, please do not take what I'm I saying did. seriously. I did, I did okay, at the beginning, I did yourself. at the beginning. You actually saved yourself. I did, <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, and a whole bunch of monikers in your chat, <laughs> congrats. I yeah, congratulations, look at what you've done, look at what you made me do! <laughs> Well, uh, I'm the radical left. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. We we do have to we do have to be. I'm I'm being uh, I'm being asked to be a little more strict with the time. To be fair to everyone who's been waiting, but seriously, thank you so much. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you now understand why monarchy is the true way to go. Uh, no, it, it, that's a joke. Don't. I know that's gonna get clipped, but Please, yeah, I will never. I will never submit. Well, thank you so much. All well, right, we'll see about that. Time. We'll see. Then, we'll see whether you submit after a few stints in the dungeon. Oh no! Please don't send me that. Please. Yeah, in you go. In you go. No.